Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today I'm going to show you about the difference between ideal op-amp and the practical op-amp in LT Spice. How ideal op-amp behaves in LT Spice, how ideal op-amp works in LT Spice and how practical op-amp works in LT Spice. Friends, if you are new to this channel, you can join the channel membership by clicking on the join button here once you click on the join button you can see the different options here you can join the premium membership or else you can join the popular program mentorship program here by clicking on the join button so let us understand the difference between ideal op-amp and the practical op-amp in LT Spice, right? So you can see here, I have drawn, already drawn a very basic circuit for ideal op-amp. So you can see here, I have used ideal, ideal op-amp here. So you can go on the component and once you go on the component, you have to click on the op-amps once you click on the op amps you can see here the universal op amp so for this ideal op amp simulation i have used this u1 as universal op amp so you can see this is the universal op amp and now you can see uh, this works as a inverting amplifier since you can see the input signal is connected to the in, um, inverting terminal of an op amp so you can see if you right click on this v1 you can see this is sinusoidal signal with the amplitude of 0.1 volt that means 100 millivolt with 1 kilohertz frequency now you can see 1k and 10k the gain is 10 here since this is the gain is minus 10 since this is inverting amplifier and you can see here the output is i have connected one load r3 which is 100k and you can see for the purpose full for the purpose fully i haven't connect the supply voltage for this op amp u u1 let us see once we run the simulation let us see how this ideal op amp behaves now let us go back on the practical op amp so you can see here this is the same as the ideal op amp now in place of the universal op amp u1 i placed here lm741 lm741 here so this is the practical op amp now you can see the same here like 100 millivolt amplitude with the frequency of 1 kilohertz and you can see the gain is gain is 10 and you can see the output is 100k now the only difference you can see here here i haven't collect connected the supply voltage now you can see here I have connected the positive supply that is 12 volt and the negative supply that is minus volt. Let us now run the transient analysis and let us understand in both cases how these two these two op-amps works and how you can analyze the behavior of ideal op-amp and the practical op-amp by using LT Spice tool. Okay, so let me go and simul run the simulation for you. So go at this run button, click on the run button, then you can tile window vertical. So this is your ideal op amp. Everything you can see in one window, guys. This is also a miracle. Okay, in LT Spice. So this is your ideal op amp. Now this is. Let me click here. Go back to. Okay, it's very tricky. Now let me show you this practical op amp here okay 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 so this is uh, let me change the color as well uh, this is red and this color i'll took maybe this is okay this is blue okay so this is the practical op amp and you can see the waveform of practical op amp in red and this is the ideal op amp and you can see the waveform of ideal op amp in blue okay so for the input signal in both cases ideal op amp and the practical op amp you can see your peak to peak signal is 100 millivolt here here as well now let me show you the output voltage you can see here for the ideal volt ideal op amp what is your output voltage right let me click for here for the practical op amp what is the output voltage you can see your output voltage is 1 volt okay 
now let me i'm not sure why this is not coming here mm. let's run the simulation and let's show you here so now you can see you can see the output voltage for the ideal op amp is also 1 volt for both cases since the input voltage is same in ideal op amp and the practical op amp and gain is also same and you can see the same output voltage now let me show you the waveform here so you can see the current here is 10 micro ampere peak let me show you current for this op amp as well okay so you can see if you look go and look at you can see the current is 10 micro ampere so until now everything is going works so even then you you can see here the supply voltage i have connected here is plus minus 12 volt i don't have any supply voltage you can see your ideal op amp still works okay okay while your practical op amp won't work if i remove this supply and let me show you the output okay so you can see here you are not getting the output it's saturated it's something around something wrong here you are not getting you are not getting one volt output okay let me go back this and let me show you again you can see one volt output here okay okay until now everything is fine now even you, you don't have the supply voltage for ideal op amp now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna change the input signal to one volt to two volt okay and you i'll change the input signal for 0 0.1 volt to 2 volt now you can see now you can see for the practical op amp your output is saturated at 10.8 volt okay so now your your practical op amp is saturated at plus at positive or negative power supply while let me show you the output for this the output for this op amp you can see you can see let me run the simulation and show you you can see here the output for ideal ideal op amp is 20 volt okay now you can see the difference you change the input voltage for ideal op amp and you change the input voltage for the practical op amp in both cases this practical op amps output voltage is limited to the supply voltage and it is 10.88 and while in ideal op amp you can see you even you don't have any supply voltage it is it is x you can see here your input voltage is 2 and even then you can see your output is 20 20 volt now let me change the gain here this is also important what will happen let me change the gain for 100 here and let me change the gain for 100 here and let me show you the output okay both so you can see for this case the gain for 100 you can see since your input voltage is 2 your output is 200 while in the practical op amp let me show you your gain is <coughs> your gain is even 100 you can see your output voltage is saturated and it's 11.11 so you can see in the ideal op amp you you don't have any control you don't have any control in the op amp gain okay op amp gain right you can see even your gain is 100 your input signal is 2 you are getting 200 volt output and wherein you can see here your output is saturated let me change the gain again let me see how we having now this time your gain is 1000 your output should be 2000 right let me change here your output should be 2000 now you can see your gain is 1000 you are getting 2000 volt there is a no control in the output okay okay so now let me go back again to the 100 let me change the load resistance value for both cases so i'll keep it like one ohm right and for this practical op amp i'll keep one ohm let us see what is the output current in both cases right so in this case you can see your current is 200 amps in this case you can see your current is limited to 25 25 milliamps right your current is limited 25 million and in this case if you see the voltage here it, you can see your voltage is also limited to plus minus 25 volt that means you are not getting saturated voltage this time your voltage has been reduced that means the practical op amp has current limiting
property practical op amp have current limiting property while not ideal op amp in this case you can see your ideal op amp is is giving your 200 amps current while in the practical op amp you can see you are getting only the 15 milliampere current at the same time your output is your output has been reduced to 25 millivolt okay your output here you can see has been reduced to 25 milli millivolt instead of saturating to 12 plus minus 12 volt but in this case you are getting the 200 200 ampere current in this case now let me show you the output voltage and you are also getting the 200 volt at the same time now you can imagine what is changing with the ideal op amp and what is not changing in with the practical op amp practical let me summarize it in the practical op amp you have the gain limitation in the practical op amp you have the output voltage limitation in the practical op amp you have the output current limitation while not in the ideal op amp ideal in ideal op amp you don't see any limitation for the gain you don't see any limitation for the output voltage you don't see any limitation for the output current right right so this is the basic difference when you are simulating your ideal op amp with the practical op amp in lt spice you can find the difference how both ideal op amp and the practical op amp behaves okay so hope guys now you have understood how will you simulate and design ideal op amp and the practical op amp in the lt spice what are the differences between ideal op amp and the practical op amp okay you can see here if you have still any doubts feel free to ask me in comment section thank you for watching this video